Sissy, you simply can't leave me like this. Especially now when I need all my strength and all my concentration. The Russian Tsar Nicholas wants to force me into a war which I will not and cannot engage in. And Franz has a knife at my throat too and is attempting to force me into a war. You mustn't go, Sissy. I need your advice. I need your aid. I saw it during the Hungarian crisis. Your understanding, your sympathy were stronger than my army and all my field marshals. Without you, a reconciliation with Hungary couldn't have taken place. And without you, I would never have been crowned king of Hungary. You speak always of coronations and reconciliations, but never of our child. You see, the Empress of Austria and me, but never the mother of our child. No, Sissy. You're forgetting certain things that are important for our country. What is it? The Adjutant General requests to be allowed to remind His Majesty of the Hungarian reception. Yes, yes, tell the car I'll be there in a short while. Sissy, you must go and get ready now. You shouldn't count in my presence today. I, I'm not in any condition just now to take part in the reception. But that is completely out of the question. You realize what this reception means to us? To me, it means nothing at all. You are the Empress of Austria, Sisi. Please don't forget that. <laughs> and now excuse me, please. It's very late. I'll see you later, Sisi. Goodbye, Franz. Julia. Yes, sir. I've just been notified by Count Grüner that the Empress will not be attending today's reception. And in an hour, she's leaving Austria. But it's incredible. It's a rumor, nothing else. Uh, yes, it isn't. Her confident, the Countess Bellegarde told Count Gruner. Uh, she said there has been another severe argument between Her Royal Majesty and the Queen Mother about the child. Your Majesty, I'm sorry to disturb you. Count Andrashi is here. Count Andrashi? Yes, he begs Your Imperial Highness for an audience. Didn't you tell Count Andrashi that it's utterly impossible that I receive anyone? Yes, certainly, Your Majesty. But the Count will not take no for an answer. Well, in that case, show him in. Count Andrashi, please come in. Your Majesty, I beg a thousand pardon for my intrusion. But I've just now been told that Your Majesty will not be attending the reception for the Hungarian delegates. There are reasons that forced me to arrive at that decision. Your Majesty... Since Maria Teresa, the Hungarian people have wanted for three generations to have somebody in the imperial family in whom they could trust. For whom they could live or die. It is not to the Emperor of Austria that we have come today, but rather to our future queen. And that is why you must take part in the reception, even though it should mean a great sacrifice, Your Majesty. Count Andrassi, don't try to urge me anymore. I cannot go. Count Gröner, is the delegation assembled? Yes, Your Majesty. But Her Majesty is not here yet. Her Majesty won't participate in the reception today. Has His Majesty further orders? No.
You decided to come after all. I'm so happy because now I can prepare you for a wonderful surprise. Mama at last realizes the child belongs with its mother. Is this true? Yes. She's given orders for the child's nursery to be returned to your apartments. His Majesty the Emperor. Her Majesty the Empress. I heartily greet the distinguished Hungarian delegates and welcome them joyfully to our city. Your Majesty, the Hungarian people, on whose behalf I have the honor to speak, have expressed the desire that Her Majesty also take part in His Majesty's coronation. And on that occasion, Her Royal Highness should be declared the Queen of Hungary. I'd like Her Majesty to comply with this request, as she shares my affection for the Hungarian people. I am grateful to God Almighty for giving me a wife who has the holy power to conquer the hearts of entire nations. Gentlemen of the Hungarian delegation, I beseech Her Majesty, the Empress of Austria, to give an answer to your request. It is with great pleasure that I accept this offer. Please convey to the Hungarian nation my sincerest gratitude and my heartiest greetings. I am looking forward to a journey through your beautiful country. How endlessly vast this country is. It reaches almost to heaven. Almost to God himself. And you have conquered this endless land. With only your heart. country, so that I may deserve the high honor which you are now conferring on me. I will retain your great love with all my heart and swear to do all that I can to make this proud nation happy. Yeah. 